British Empire, mother country to Canada, made war with the Boer Republics of the Orange Free State in Transville in the year 1899. Back home in the Dominion of Canada, opinion about the war was split between the mostly pro-intervention English Canadian and the mostly anti-war French Canadian. Quebec-born Liberal Prime Minister Sir Wilfrid Laurier was not too keen on becoming involved and his cabinet was divided on the issue, causing a crisis. After much pressure, a token force of 1,000 Canadians was established and was sent to South Africa wearing the uniform of the Dominion. However, they would fight in the British Army. The force of 1,000 volunteers organized into the 2nd Special Service Battalion with the 1st Contingent led by the Toronto-born Lieutenant Colonel Sir William Dillon Otter. The men would depart from Canada via Quebec in the late October of 1899 and arrive in Cape Town in November. And over the season of war, about 6,000 more men would volunteer into the Royal Canadian Regiment, Royal Canadian Dragoons, 1st Regiment, Canadian Mounted Rifles and 3rd Battalion, RCR, relieving the British garrison in Halifax. Although some men and nurses were raised by the Canadian Militia Act. On the 18th of February 1900, the crack of rifles resounded at Prattenburg, winning of the 900 so attacking Canadians, 18 to the grave and 16 to the stretcher. Following the battle, the British strategy would change to that of besieging the Boers, and some nine days later, in the night, the Canadians would lead an attack on part of the Boer Trench. The Canadian wings would march to the Boer Trench, the tripwire was loosened, and the cry of the gun would rain upon the Canadians. The front rank would return fire, the back rank would chop the Boer trenches, but then a call of RETIRE would confuse the men, and with many of them return to the beginning line. However, the maritimers of the H and G regiment would continue to fight at the foe. The morning after the battle would have to eventually come, and a quote from the Canadian War Museum, it was not much, but it was enough to convince Crone that his position was untenable. He surrendered later that morning. The surrender of over 4,000 Boers and the glory of the first major victory of the war for Britannia was majorly aided by a fair dominion. Then, for the Canadians would come Israel's port, Zand River, the relief of Macfin, the drawn up famous put, Hornin Spirit, and then Lee Lofton. The war was going in the British favour by the November of 1900. The President of the Republic of Transville, Paul Kruger, had fled, and the cities of Bloemfontein and Pretoria had fell. The Boers were now employing mounted guerrilla units. To counter this, the British used scorcher tactics like burning down the farms where wagons cut their trails into the earth. And another thing which the Canadian Encyclopedia puts as putting tens of thousands of Boer and African families into concentration camps. On the date of November 7th, 1900, the galloping sound of horses was heard upon the ears of some 1,500 British men at Liftoffen Farm. Men of the Royal Canadian Dragoons mounted to face the foe, defending her artillery guns. The fence saw the valiant deaths of three Canadian men, and three would be given the pompous Victoria Cross. It is a holy and solemn Easter Monday of the year 1902. The British column of 1,800 men patrolled the western corner of Transville, but that day they converged upon 2,500 Boers. Seeing themselves unnumbered, the British would raise the defense around the Bosch Boat Farm and defend against the foe for the rest of the day. Lieutenant Bruce Carthere, born February 13, 1863, in Kingston, Ontario, led a force of 21 Canadians on a further part of the defence, which these Boer Canadians would steadfastly attempt to hold. Surrounded, wounded, and out of ammunition, would force the respectful yet honourable surrender. Meanwhile, six other Canadians, originally with Cothier's group, had become separated from the unit during the fighting, and were stranded from the main force. Rather than surrender, they fled into the open grassland pursued by a group of Boers for two days, until finally the small band of Canadians was forced to stand and fight, and two were killed before the four surrendered. The Battle of Bushrod was the bloodiest battle for Canada since the Battle of Pradeville, seeing the death of 13 and wounding of 40 gallant Canadian men. The war was fought from October 11, 1899 to May 31, 1902. The war saw the loss of about 100,000 lives, 
both civilian and military. The war culminated in the Peace of Veneringen, seeing the British gaining military administration over the once independent Boer Republics. Canada would suffer 270 deaths, with their memory and the victories they brought seen as a cause of pride. Happy Remembrance Day, Canada, and Veterans Day, America. The Lord God bless you all, and our soldiers, lest we forget.